Hey, I'm Corey, and I'm one of the invertebrate keepers here at the Australian Reptile Park. So uh, we're going to be making up an encage enclosure here for the uh, stick and insects behind me, and uh, we're going to use some of this uh, critter crumble um, as a substrate today. Great thing about having substrate in any cage is uh, obviously some um, moisture and pointages. Um, it's also great as a as an egg laying tool, especially for an invertebrate such as a stick insect. Um, they do flick their um, eggs, and it can take anywhere up to 18 months for them to hatch. So it's a really important and key factor that they have a nice, clean, healthy substrate. It's got no odour, it absorbs odour, and uh, it will definitely help out. Um, it's also mould and mildew resistant, so it's definitely going to be a, a great factor for us to keep our insects nice and healthy and uh, breeding for many years to come. First thing you want to do is uh, have your enclosure set up. So there's two different types of enclosures you can kind of set up as a basic. Um, today we're going to be using a mostly glass enclosure with a wire lid. Now, it's really important that there is a lot of uh, ventilation for your insects, so another option is to have a completely wired enclosure. Now, uh, we're going to place some of this substrate on the bottom. Basically, uh, a nice even coverage. Now, when you're uh, cleaning out your enclosure, it's really important as well to make sure it is a lot of hygiene kept, especially for your eggs. You know, a lot of hygiene is very, very important. Otherwise, you may get uh, future problems, um, including your eggs not hatching. Now, you want deep enough so that, you know, if it does become too soiled with either um, feces or other things like that, um, you can take a little scraping off the top and still have enough substrate for your eggs and your phasmids to be nice and happy. So once you've got your uh, substrate set up, got a nice even coverage, you're going to need a water source. So the water source is not so much for your insects, but more for the uh, leaves that you're going to be placing in your enclosure. So I generally just place it in the middle. The next thing you're going to need is some nice fresh eucalypt leaves. Um, this is not only for shelter, but the most important factor of your eucalypt leaves is a food source. You want to have nice fresh tips. So you don't want that old, um, older kind of dying leaf, otherwise it's not going to make your insect nice and happy. Now when placing your uh, leaves into the enclosure, you want to fan them out. You don't want them to be pushed against the glass, um, otherwise your insects won't be able to get to the actual leaf and therefore they won't be able to eat the leaf. Now once you've got your leaves set up, you want to give it a bit of a spray. Once again this will keep the leaves a bit fresh, a bit healthy, but it'll also give you insects, once they're put into the enclosure, the opportunity to have a bit of a drink off the leaves. Once you've got your enclosure set up like this, so you've got it all nice and pretty, got your uh, substrate in, you want to then add your uh, insects. Gently allow them to go onto the plant, and you don't want to be too rough. They are fairly delicate, so you don't want to be uh, too rough and too uncareful with them. So this one right here is a spiny leaf insect. Really popular as a, as a children's pet because they are quite uh, not a very large species, but they're also not a um, you know cranky or anything like that species. Obviously, they are very very small, and uh, you know something as big as us could definitely squish them. Now another great thing about using this substrate um, in a, as opposed to other substrates, you know there's a lot commercially available, but this one here is uh, is better for our environment. So um, uh, some other um, substrates will use you know, resources that are, aren't um, efficient. So peat moss and sphagnum moss, um, that sort of thing, we're taking from the environment and uh, not really healthy. Whereas this one is uh, more sustainable to our environment, which we all want to see here at the park. 